This is the final day of the jank. Glory be to the Chad. 12 days of Texas whiskey. We're on day 12. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If this is your first time here, I'm Kevin, and this is a 12 days of Texas whiskey uh, journey that I've been going on for well, I got 11 days behind me. This is day 12. If this is your first time here, you're probably coming in at the wrong point for this series, but you can stick around and watch the other ones later. I have some links below and there's probably links at the end of the video too. Let's not waste any more time. Let me go ahead and grab bottle 12 out of this case. You've certainly heard me talk about Rex and Daniel and their YouTube channels and how much they've influenced this channel. So uh, if you haven't done so yet, Please subscribe to their channels. Links are below in my description. And I need also a glass, or I'm just gonna be drinking out of a bottle and this isn't that type of channel. Okay, today we have a straight wheat whiskey from Lone Elm Whiskey Five Points Distilling. Another new one for me, I haven't heard of them, but that doesn't mean anything because there are a lot of new distillers around, especially in Texas. Now this straight wheat whiskey is at 125.5 proof, 62.75% alcohol, and straight means that it's been aged at least two years in a charred new oak barrel. Wheat whiskey means there's at least 51% wheat. It could be all wheat. It could just be 51%. There could be other grains in there. But this is going to have, as wheat implies, a more sweeter note to it. A lot of the sweeter whiskeys are based on wheat. And that gives you kind of a softer whiskey taste and smell let's see what this one is going to give me i guess it's five points distilling and this is their lone elm whiskey maybe they have other brands uh, other expressions if you know about them i'd love to hear about them in the comments especially if you had personal experience and have tasted any of their expressions now onto this one that was in the box which is another cast drink whiskey and although it's sweeter <laughs> it's definitely got the heat of that really high proof it's up there, it's really up there. But I can definitely get the cherry notes and there's definitely some, some of the wheat notes that I would normally get. More of a grassy note at the end there instead of the uh, vanilla intensity that I get from the oak. The grassy notes are definitely taking over that part of the, the nosing process that I would normally get the vanilla and sweetness. But there is a sweetness in there and it is a little bit cherry for me. And this color is one of the darkest ones, surprisingly. This may have lived longer than just two years in the cask. Straight just means at least two years. This could have been longer than that. I'm getting some tannins on the nose. Kind of a little bit of a tobacco note. A lot of spice on that first taste, but there's definitely sweetness in there. I had the sweet first and the spice just took over after that. The cinnamon spice right now is really intense. The The finish is pretty long. In fact, it left my tongue and it's it's really down in my uh, in my chest right now. I'm getting some berries. I'm getting some cherry sweetness. Still getting the cinnamon and the, the oak spice. But there's nothing bad about it. I mean, I'm not... Some of them, I, I've had a sour finish on it. This one is not giving me a sour finish. It's giving me a nice finish. Very pleasant, actually. Very pleasant whiskey. I find it hard to kind of push a wheat whiskey to this level because it's in opposition to what wheat really does for whiskey, which is to kind of keep it on the on the softer side. So when you take a wheat whiskey and then you decide to pump up the alcohol, you're definitely going to get a much uh, harsher edge to a very soft whiskey. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of water added gives me some leather notes. And now I'm getting a little bit of citrus in there. Kind of lost the tannins. Ooh. Now maybe I maybe I held it in my mouth a little too long, but I just got a bloom of alcohol from that the, the spice and everything just kind of went up into my nasal cavity, which is odd because what I was trying to do was I was trying to take it down a little bit. Let me add a few more drops, Let's see where we can go with this because I really think there should be a little more sweetness as we're adding water to this wheat whiskey. The more water I add, the less sweet the nose is getting. I'm getting more of the leather notes. So I'm I'm liking this whiskey, but I feel like it should have presented itself just a little bit differently. I think it deserves some more sweet notes. Getting down there, so I'm being very careful how many drops I put in. Yeah, I'm still getting that bloom. I kind of want to like it, 
because my first nosing and my first taste were really good. Let me throw a little bit more in here because I did like the first taste of this. This is very interesting. And I'm gonna have to check their website out and see what is uh, in this particular mash bill because I guess I was looking for more like a, like a Weller, you know, the, the sweeter weeded bourbons. And I'm just not getting that. Let's put this in a check it out on the wrap up video and see how it places because I really want this one to do better than it's doing right now because I want day 12 to be a really nice finish of this. I believe the last couple of days have been excellent. So I was kind of anticipating the same thing here. So until the wrap up video, which I'll publish tomorrow, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you and cheers. I do like it though. It's just, it's not giving me the sweetness.